Jammers, and welcome back to Super Buddies Forever, where we're doing some updated tours of the rooms in our 50 plus room Monster High dollhouse. And this is our school room. There's not much changes from the original video, which is in the link below. If you want to know more details, they're much longer. It'll tell you how I made things and um, far more many details if you want to enjoy that. Otherwise, we're just going to do a shorty here to show you any changes or updates and just go through it a little quicker than my previous ones. In the schoolroom, I display all of the more of the core characters, the first runs, and of course they all have their own bedrooms so we can and they have the tired versions or a different version um, so we can put them in here to show everything. Um, what do we have here? Of course Abby is my fave ski. Um, Operetta looks gorgeous. You know, we did a salon time on her and fixed her hair up and now she looks perfecto there. Frankie and Dracula are hanging out by the lockers, which is part of the original schoolhouse they did and I did tear it apart. I love all the portraits. It's one of my favorite things of this room. And um, we started off with about that many, grew to more and more and more. And I think I still got to do Ari, Monica and Dana. To add to that, I'll get that on my list of, I have that on my list already of things to do. Decoupage and other things are done to add to this room in terms of the clock. And um, it's pretty. It, it being the first room I'd done, I was so excited. This was the inspiration for everything started from here. Wow, November 2016 will be like three years ago that this project started. Pretty exciting. Rebecca is coming from the door. Oh, and the door itself goes out here to a beautiful stairwell onto the courtyard and the haunted area. So it has good play features to it. Interactive. Spectre. I love this pose for Claudine. <laughs> She's so bored. She's just so bored thinking of fashion. Cleo's busy. Gulia's doing her thing. You know, she's paying attention. Howleen, yeah, looking off in the windows out into wherever, because, I don't know, it's just the story in my mind. Do you do that with your dolls? <laughs> when you place them and display them, do you make stories in your mind of what they're doing so you know how to pose them? I love the copier in here. Just added to it, and um, I don't know. I have a hard time talking about some of these sometimes. I guess it's more just to show you, share with you, hopefully inspire you, and um, let you enjoy my joys in life. My escape from reality is this doll room and um, it brings much joy and comfort and zen time and building for it. It's my favorite part about dolls. Everybody says, do you play with them? Well, my playing is a little different. I keep them in order and um, this is what I do. So there's not a whole lot of difference. I think we added a few more dolls from the last one since they gained the dead tired. As I said, I did fix her necklace. That is from the um, student council set. And I just spray painted it because I can't get the first. And I still got my handmade flower on here. Oh yeah, shout out to Tabby Gat 7 who was first on a very recent video. Thank you. Little Miss T. Gotta check out her video. She's got some wonderful Ever After High stuff she does. So let's end it there. There's our tour of the school room. A very wonderful room in memories of the core and the beginnings of Monster High. Hope you've all enjoyed this tour. Please share, subscribe, and um, thanks for being part of our channel growth almost a year ago. Have a wonderful evening. See you next time.